Om Namo Shivaya. Today we'll start the principles of insurance. The principles of insurance are the rules of action or conduct adopted by the stakeholders involved in the insurance business. There are seven principles of insurance. First one is principles of utmost good faith. Now, according to this principle, insurance is a contract based on faith. The insured and the insurer must disclose all the material facts to each other and both the parties should not hide any fact related to insurance policy from each other. Any mispresentation of facts can result in cancellation of the contract. Then principle of insurable interest. According to this principle, the insured must have an insurable interest in the subject matter of insurance policy. In case of life insurance, the insurable interest comes with the relation of insured with the person taking insurance policy. In case uh, of fire insurance, this uh, uh, here the insurable interest must be present at the time of taking the policy as well as at the same time of loss of subject matter right next is principle of indemnity according to this principle insurance is not a contract of making profit the purpose the purpose of insurance is uh, to bring back the insured in the same financial position as he was before the loss for example a person insured his factory for rupees 2 lakh against fire. Due to fire, he suffered a loss of rupees 1 lakh. The insurance company will compensate him rupees 1 lakh only and not the policy amount of rupees 2 lakh because the purpose of insurance is to compensate for loss and not for earning profit. This principle is not applicable on life insurance policy. Why? Because one cannot estimate the loss due to the death of a person. Next is principle of proximate cause. Proximate cause literally means the nearest cause or the direct cause. This principle is applicable when the loss is the result of two or more causes. The proximate cause means the most dominant and most effective cause of loss which is considered in the insurance policy. Next is principle of subrogation. According to this principle, when the insured is compensated for the loss or damage to the property insured by him or her, the right of ownership of such property passes on to the insurer. This is because the insured should not be allowed to make any profit by selling the damaged property. Next is principle of contribution. According to this principle, if a person has taken more than one insurance policy for the same subject matter, then all the insurers will contribute the amount of loss and compensate him for the amount of actual loss. Separately, he cannot claim total loss from each insurer. The insurer contributes to the total loss in proportion to the amount assured by each. Okay. Next is principle of mitigation of loss. This principle states that it is the duty of the insured to take reasonable steps to minimize the loss or damage to the insured property. For example, if a person has taken fire insurance policy for his house and when fire breaks out, he should take all the measures to stop the fire and to minimize the loss rather than watching the fire because he will get compensation from the insurance company. Next class we will discuss about the life insurance.